I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaga Diamond. What's up, peoples? How you doing? It is a great day, and I'm so very excited to be here. You know, I absolutely think that this is really an amazing show because I get to speak with people who are doing things all over the world, you know, and they're doing things because it makes them happy. It's something that is within them that they have to get out, that they have to share. And I have to highlight that and I have to make sure that you know that it's there, just like this next book that we're going to be talking about today. And I'm going to put the QR code in the corner over here so that you can see it and it will take you it'll take you straight to Amazon. So that way you go ahead and check it out for yourself It's Jericho Ruined. And we have the author here. Yay. And I want to make sure that I OK, I might just torture this name. I, I you know, and it's so easy. It's Ciara. Mitchell, and I hope I said that right. Yes, Sierra Mitchell, yes. Sierra, see, I told you. I told you. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Sierra. How are you? Thank you. I am doing well. Thank you so much for having me, Yeah, yeah. Oh, anytime, anytime. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what led up to this point where you wrote a book. Okay. Um, well, a little bit about me. I am a self-published author. Um, I am a writer at heart, and I basically, I always wanted to write a book, but I didn't have a story. Mm. So um, basically, I'm like, I'm a lover. So <laughs> um, it's, it's a book, it's inspired by a love story, basically. And that's how it kind of came about. Um, I mean, I love to write, and um, basically we kind of just, um, our relationship kind of just like flourished, but we were young, mm. so it wasn't a very good relationship, and I just decided to write it all down in the story form. So um, I have to say that when I first saw the title, I was like, okay, is this a book about Jericho? And the walls coming down or is this a book about love and the walls coming down okay that's a really good question so jericho is the main character mm -hmm. and of course i got the name from the biblical story yes and um it is more so about how jericho's walls were formed and mm -hmm. then like giving reason for um them coming down eventually right. but jericho um is a strong character and um a developing character and uh, jericho was young and had no idea about the world um but when you read the book you'll see kind of um I guess the parallel of the walls and and that thing, that sort of thing. That's so cool. That is so cool. So, I mean, okay, so you wrote the book, you got the book out there. How did it make you feel once you did that? Well, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I just knew I wanted to write a book. I just knew I wanted to write. So once I had the book in my hand and i saw my name on it i was like oh wow this is real mm -hmm. so it just took on a life form of its own if that makes sense it does it really does i mean writing a book is something that everybody pretty much thinks about at one point in their life but they never not everybody goes through with it you know what i mean what was it like for you when you were developing your characters and putting everything in there i mean where, did it take you on a journey as well? Did you change your mind on a few things? Um, so because the story um, is inspired by um, like real life, mm -hmm. inspired by real life events, um, I held the kind of uh, the, the depiction in my memory. So 
basically once I started writing, it just came all out. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, and it didn't it didn't take very long. Um, I wrote it in a short amount of time and the story was what it was because it was kind of personal mm. to me. And um, yeah, so I didn't really make many changes. I I did, however, relive a lot of the um, emotional um, type of uh, feelings and expressions and everything, you know. Um, after I wrote it, I can say that I forgot a lot of um, what I put in mm -hmm. and it took me a while to read it again. <laughs> wow. and, then, and then when it got to like really difficult chapters, like it, it took me a while to even go forward. So um, I'll say that it was even a therapeutic experience for me. Yeah. I I mean, I, I would figure that, I mean, I, I would think that that would be something that would be therapeutic, definitely. And helping you to get over things. I mean, do you suggest that people write a book if they go through a certain circumstance that just they need that closure on? Absolutely, I do. Um, I guess the therapeutic side for yourself, but also um, for the reader, because you never know like where someone is in their life mm -hmm. and how your story may inspire someone else. And so I didn't know that it would reach anyone. I didn't I didn't know if people would judge me. I didn't know if I would be accepted, you know, as a writer. And there's so much in the book. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit of everything for everybody, you know. Right. Um, so I, I'll say that yes, you know, getting that, getting it all out, and then also offering, you know, your story for someone else to um, find um, or identify with the character. Um, it was a great experience for me, so I absolutely would encourage uh, people to do that. Definitely. Are you um, gonna write another book? By any chance? Yes. Actually, right now, I am earning my PhD in general psychology. So I'm writing a, I'm writing my dissertation. I'm finishing chapter four and chapter five right now. And my aspiration is once I earn my degree, once I finish school, I'm going to write another book, um, Ruined, also. Um, with Jericho as as a character, Jericho may not be the main character, but I'm definitely going to continue continue writing. Yes. Oh my gosh, we all cheered over here. Yes, definitely. I mean, I I absolutely love it. Love it. Love 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 it. Wow. <laughs> oh, you're hooked. I mean, hook line century. You get they got you. The book got you. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Um, Jericho ruined. It was my first novel. I published a second book over the pandemic. It's titled Hood Queen. Mm -hmm. um, it's more of like a diary, short story, kind of like just a stream of consciousness, um, you know, interesting. I'll, I'll say it's interesting, <laughs> but um, um, Jericho Ruined is my first novel. And then I published Hood Queen um, in 2020. So, wow. Wow. Well, I want to congratulate you. Definitely congratulate you on everything right here. You can see the book. You can see Jericho ruined. It's on Amazon, as you can see here. And um, I, I just, I love the fact that you're going, you're, you're writing your dissertation. Congratulations. Thank Get you. your doctor's degree. Yay. Dreams come true. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> that is, a, it's a lot of work, girlfriend. It's a lot of work. I'm telling you. I, <laughs> Girl, I wouldn't do that again. Anyway, so um, where can people find you so that they can follow you? And I know that the book is going to be in the corner over here. It's it's right there. It's um, on Amazon. And you can go ahead and scan that QR code in the top corner over here, wherever that is on your screen. But um, where else can people find you so they maybe can follow you and and get the, the other books and then follow your journey as you get your your doctorate degree, girl. What? Yes, yeah, so I can be found on Facebook. Um, I have one social media and it's Facebook. It's really me on there. Um, 
It's uh, Sierra Mitchell, like my name is spelled, and I have an author page that um, is linked to my personal profile on Facebook where people can follow me. Yes. Uh, so people can actually find you there on Facebook. And if you go ahead and go down, you'll see uh, all the things she loves. But not <laughs> only sure. that, huh? I said for sure. <laughs> yeah. And you, girlfriend, they can follow you here. And obviously, um, there is other things about you details mm -hmm. and all kinds of different and how to pronounce the name <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us here on dream chasers radio and thank you so much for writing the book we can't wait for you to graduate congratulations thank you so much i appreciate awesome. you yeah yeah really i do thank anytime you. oh and i appreciate you too thank you so much <laughs> and thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to dare to be different, but most of all, don't forget to go ahead and scan that QR code or go ahead and go to Amazon.com. You can go, also go to Yaya Diamond's Book Club and find the book in there. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. And until next time, guys, see ya.